Hey everyone, Scott from Photocrati here. Today I want to talk to you about a question that is asked of us quite often. Um, the question is basically, uh, you know, about the 60 styles that we have out of the box. Wanting to know if people have to download each style separately and install it on their site, if they want to change, you know, how easy is it? Do you have to download a brand new fi file again? But really, it, it's very simple. One of the things that steps uh, Photocrati up over the competition is how easy it is to change styles. You don't have to download multiple themes. We have all these built in once. So as you can see, um, we have different styles here. Really, we have 15 presets built in. Okay, so if you start scrolling, you can see all the different presets. And this is on our demos page on our website. And uh, of each preset, we have a variation of style. So when you um, combine, you know, multiply, you know, our four variations by the 15 presets, you get the 60 styles. Now it's really easy, as I mentioned, to change styles. So I'm going to walk you through the process. So I have a uh, live site that I threw up real quick uh, with the base uh, Photocrati install. Um, I added a couple of pages and uh, added some photos and I added some content on uh, in the blog and you can see we've got a bunch of different galleries all set up um, we got slideshow, we've got the uh, film strip styles, we've got the blog style so um, the site is you know has a lot going on already but it's the base template, uh, the base preset which is uh, when you first install it is Lightbox okay so um, if you go into your the back end of the Photocrati theme and you go to choose theme, you actually see that there's all the different presets built in, the 15 different presets. And you can see there's a button here that says use Photocrati f-stop, Photocrati emulsion, etc. Um, as I mentioned, it installs default with Lightbox, but I want to show you how easy it is to switch uh, the default look to a different one. So I'm going to throw on use Photocrati Bokeh. So we click that and then just confirm that we want to use it and it's going to um, pull all the, that preset out of the database and put it live on your site. Once it co it's confirmed, you'll, um, you'll see that the site, the, the back end will refresh. And if you go back to your live site and you refresh that page, you're now going to have a completely different look. So as you can see, with one click, we just completely changed the look of our website. Now I want to go through more of the settings so you can see even you know more uh, how diverse the theme really is um, because there's a lot you can do with it and again simple clicks and you'll you're able to completely transform your site without changing themes without downloading and installing new stuff you can um, you know modify your theme drastically and I want to point out right here before we keep going is that if you decide to customize your theme beyond the preset because you can customize it so much that you can make your own preset, basically. So really, the design possibilities are endless. So yeah, we have 60 built in, but you can keep it going and, and do your own thing and make 61, 62, you know, make it your own. So if you do decide to customize it, always go back to the main choose theme page and create your own custom theme or, or preset. And, uh, you know, just hit save current customization after you name it. And what that's going to do for you now is just make sure that's saved in your database. In the future, we are going to be implementing an export and import feature where you can design and share your presets. So that should be a lot of fun. So we're going to move on to the customize theme section. And in this section, you have the ability to customize your fonts and your colors and, and, and the background images and the style of, of the, uh, the layout. So as you can see right now, our site is set to 100% width. So again, 100% width. You see the background is going end to end, and so is the, the, the header with the logo and the uh, menu. If we go back and we hit one column blog centered, and we save that, we get a little confirmation saying it's saved. And now we'll go back and refresh and watch what happens. It's now a completely different site again. Now we have a white um, you know, block in the center and the menu is uh, separated from it with a little shadow. And again, if I go back and I switch this to the light box, right? So we go back and switch it to the light box um, layout. Again, it's going to be a completely different design, right? So we can go back and do that easily. 
So this is the this is the one column. Now we'll go back to the hundred percent, and again show you how easy it is to go back to the hundred percent width, and we're back to a completely different website again. Now you can see here you've got a lot of options for uh, background colors, or you can right now you can see the presets using the uh, bokeh image. So if you liked the layout of bokeh but wanted to use your own background image, just upload a new one. It's very simple. You can change how it's repeating, if you need it to repeat, if you don't, that kind of thing. Um, you can take away the image, just make it a solid color if you want. Then you've got the content background, and you have uh, blog meta, and you've got music options if you decide that you want to use music. If we move on to the header, we've got logo options. So right now, we're set to use text as the logo. But let's say you wanted to switch it, you can change the size, the color, choose your fonts. We've got some Google fonts here, we've got some built-in uh, web fonts that's, you know, standard and universal. Or you can do a custom logo. So I'm going to upload a logo real quick, so it's just so you can see how easy it is to upload a logo. So it's, it's uploaded, it's saved, then I'll hit save logo, make sure it's actually implemented on the live site. If we refresh, we'll have a brand new logo. Cameras. So this is our new logo. But let's go back and put it back to WordPress text, save logo, again, completely different website when you want to refresh. And then you also have um, the description. So this is your site title and this is your description. You can um, change the colors, the font sizes of that as well. And then you also have logo padding. So if you do make a, an image and you need to um, change the dimensions of the height of the header, depending on how big your logo is, that this is where you can do it. And then here's a really fun section where you can change the menu positioning. So again, um, very simple to, to change the look of the site is to simply change how the menu is. So you can see the logos on the left and the menus on the right. So watch what happens if I do logo on the top menu on the bottom. We do we pick this one, we let it save, and now it's confirmed, we refresh, and now again, different looking site. So imagine this, and then see how now the menu needs to be adjusted, which is fine, because we can adjust the menu, that's the next thing that we're getting to. So here's the parent menu items. Change the font sizes, the color background, make it transparent or have a color, drop down menus, so if you have um, drop downs as well, so you can see Here's some drop downs. You can change those as well. And we keep moving on. You get to the body portion. Again, font, uh, font choice and color of the content, your blog articles and your page content. Titles, the H1, H2 tags, H3 tags, which are very important for SEO. If you don't understand SEO um, that much, definitely check out Photographer's SEO community, um, which I am showing the, the URL in this video. And actually, we actually uh, wrote an article on the use of H1, H2, and H3 tags for SEO. So um, definitely check that out. And you, so you got the uh, font and size options and colors for all those. And then links here as well. You can change the color of your links. So, um, you know, uh, let's show you an example. We go to a blog article. And see if there's links in here. There's no links in this one, but you can see here on the sidebar there's some links and you got some colors there. And then we move on to the sidebar. So the sidebar, you have option for the width. How wide do you want the sidebar to be? Do you need it to take up more real estate or less? So you can control that. So watch what happens. If we type in 20, content width went to 80 automatically. See that? So it adjusts depending. And then you can even turn off the sidebar if you don't even care to use it. Then you can turn on color for the background of the sidebar, uh, or make it transparent, let it match the rest of the, uh, of the content area. Change the fonts, title fonts, sizes, links uh, specifically to the sidebar, you can change it if you want. And then here's some fun stuff, you've got social media icons. Currently we're supporting RSS feed, email, Twitter, Facebook, and Flickr. We're going to be adding more in the future, so don't worry there, but right now that's what we have. Um, you can turn that on or turn it off. And same thing with custom sidebar content. You can add your own random HTML at the top or bottom of your sidebar separate from, from uh, sidebar widgets, if you so desired. In the footer, we have more font options that you can choose from. 
we've got the height. One uh, another question that's asked of us often is the uh, height that's added at the bottom of uh, uh, by default, and it we do that to show how flexible you can you can be, uh, how, what you can add in the footer. So by default, it starts at 250. All right. Now I already changed it to 100, but I'm going to put it back to 250 so you can see. This is what it looks like when you first install the photo karate theme. So if this worries you, if you don't like it, go in here, change it to 100, and now your height of the footer is going to be a lot less. So let me go back to the home page. You can see here it's a lot less. So and you can keep reducing it to however you know uh, whatever pixel uh, height you want. And if you're going to use footer widgets, you've got options here of where you want to display them. Um, and you don't have to use them, but they're there if you want. And then you've got a footer you know, customization that you can put in. So if you want to customize the footer like you see here, you're able to do that very easily um, right here without having to do any modifications to the theme. So there's a lot of customization you can do to make this, uh, to make the photocratic theme exactly how you want. It's very flexible. You don't need to to do any uh, you know modifications if you unless you really want to um, but I don't recommend it uh, there's a lot more you can do as well so if you don't see a font you like if you don't see a you know a color selection you can't figure it out uh, but you know some CSS you can also do CSS functions very easily if you go to other options on the in, on the side and the left um, you know sidebar of your back end in other options, we've got an area where you can add your Google Analytics script for, for tracking. And then we also have uh, custom CSS, which instead of you having, again, to modify any files, just throw it in there. And the changes you make, if you understand CSS, any changes you make will affect the live site, unless you turn off dynamic styling. So um, that is really, uh, that, that is how easy and how flexible the Photocry theme is. If you have any questions, definitely let us know and we'll try to get those answered. But I also want to show you other ways that you can get inspired to see other, uh, you know, Photocrati sites and see the modifications that they've made in the back end. So if you go to our site and click on the showcase, you'll see there's a variety of different customers' websites showcased um, in this section. And you can see, um, you know, different, different styles, different looks, get some inspiration there. And then something else we just launched is if you go to our Pinterest uh, boards, we now have a Photocrati showcase. And on the showcase, you've got um, customers pinning on our board their websites. Okay, so these are not on our website, they're on Pinterest. And it, you can even add yours if you wanted to. Just go to the board, um, follow the instructions, and we'll invite you to, to this board, to the uh, for the photo karate showcase board and where you can pin your website so uh, again if you have any questions let us know but thank you for watching